All right, welcome back, everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back with another StarCraft II one versus one replay cast. It's gonna be another one of these Alpha Star games. This time, gonna be doing a Terran versus Protoss. I feel like uh, the first video I did that really made me be like, "Wow, you guys want to see Alpha Star?" Was actually uh, Alpha Star getting cannon rushed as a Terran. So, so then I was just like, "Wait." I haven't actually cast that many normal Alpha Star TVP games, so here's going to be another one of those. I think it's uh, long overdue that I cast cast one of these anyway. So yeah, we'll just see how this one's going to work out. Alpha Star taking on a GM level Protoss should be a good match. It's Terran versus Zerg. I'm going to be frank, it needs a little bit of work. It, uh, it tries to do some things... But it just doesn't seem to have, say, a super proper idea of what to do. Like, uh, it doesn't seem to understand the concept of you gotta be efficient and deal damage to Zerg. And so I'm curious if the same thing is gonna apply to Protoss, if it plays versus, say, a more defensive Protoss player or something like that. So, uh, we'll see. Alpha Star is gonna be dealing with this pesky probe in its base. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see where the game's gonna go from there. Uh, as always, if you enjoy these Alpha Star videos, make sure to press that like button. I think uh, the next Alpha Star video that I do is gonna be a big, uh, gonna be another one of the cheese ones. Cover like see if I can find some really crazy Alpha Star games or something. So yeah, make sure to press that like button if you enjoy the cheeses. Alpha Star losing an SCV to a probe right out the gate that kind of hurts. This. Uh, SCV gonna run down, but yeah, that kind of, that kind of does hurt losing your losing an SCV to a probe. That that's really a salt in the wound. This Reaper for Alpha Star actually is gonna go across the map, even though the probe is still just hanging out here. So uh, it seems to be having a little bit of a messy messy start. And uh, yeah, let's just, uh, for this video, as things are starting to heat on up, this probe's still being a pain. Let's try and break. Uh, Let's try and break 50 likes on this video. If we can do this, I'll definitely do more of the Alpha Star. But uh, I know that I know that it's kind of I'm kind of running out of replays of the Alpha Star, so I'm hoping that they're gonna do more or release more at some point because uh, I've ca I usually cast like the longest replays that I can find. So the videos are gradually getting shorter and shorter as uh, as I go through the videos in that process. But I will keep, I will find a way to cast more Alpha Star or do more of the cheeses if you guys really do enjoy it. And uh, yeah, we'll just see Alpha Star. Uh, I mean, it lost that Reaper, so that's pretty painful for it. Losing the Reaper to the Adept has already lost an SCV. It's really having a tough mid or early game versus this Proton. The SCV does at least finish the wrapping on that command center. But still, if you consider this a normal TVP opening, for, if you considered this a normal TVP opening for a Terran player, you'd just be like, wow, this is absolutely horrible for, this is, this is horrendous for the Terran. Now two Hellions are out for Alpha Star, so it can maybe hunt down this Adept, but yeah, like, uh, it's just not having a good start. It's not terrible, but it lost two SCVs, it lost a Reaper, and it lost a Marine, and it didn't get anything done, so Alpha Star, once again, doesn't seem to be too crisp or anything like that. And taking on someone who has attained Grand Master on the European server, it's gonna be tough to do. These two Hellions for Alpha Star, they're gonna try and run on in, then they're like, nope, quarter pass not happening, it's just gonna lose those two Hellions for free. And then it makes you wonder, where's Alpha Star gonna go next? It's got another two Hellions. I know the whole idea of if you don't succeed at first, try and try again, but Alpha Star, oh no, this, oh, uh, this AI, like, it's just not good. And somehow Alpha Star seems to have this ability that uh, no matter how much it loses, it seems to have an okay supply count. But just throwing away four Hellions for nothing, it's, it's a bit rough right out the gate. So uh, we'll see what it's going to be able to do to follow this up. Like, uh, it's made a Viking, it's making a tank and some Marines at least, which is important because the Protoss player is going to be heading towards Blink. And uh, if you're not careful, Blink Stalkers can just kill you. But look at this, oh no, round three, not round three. The Hellions are going to, wait, maybe the Hellions, they make it into the natural. If it, Alpha Star, giving you life lessons. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again, and maybe you'll be able to kill a probe. Two probes have died this game for the Protoss. Two SCVs. Everything is perfectly balanced. 
Except a whole lot else died for the Terran. Six Hellions. Ouch. Alpha Star, though, is at least getting up a bunker and a tank, so it should be fine to defend versus the Stalkers, I want to say. Meanwhile, it's going to be moving out with his Viking. There's a chance that this could land and get some damage done, potentially. All the while, the Protoss player just making a ton of Stalkers. He's going to be looking to put the pressure onto his opponent. There's one Banshee out, but that Banshee is going to want to turn around. There's Stalkers that have blinked on already. Oh, that is going to be a dead Banshee. The Viking, though, getting some work done at least. Going to be able to focus down a few probes, getting himself four four probes in total there not bad for the viking maybe five actually now the problem is though we've got uh, tons of stalkers getting on top of this and two siege tanks go down alpha star the master of making tanks is actually going to be having a tough go of it i mean when you've got the tanks you can zone up the stalkers but this is not going to be the case now Fortunately for Alpha Star, at least a Banshee is going to be finished up. It also gets the Warp Prism, which is nice, but a good number of SCVs are probably falling here. That being said, though, I mean, the Marines for Alpha Star are going to repel the Stalkers. The Siege Tank is out, and with that being the case, Alpha Star is actually going to have held this aggression. It would seem 13 SCVs died, but the Worker count, actually okay for Alpha Star. 39 SCVs to 42 probes, not bad at all. The Bunker is still standing. The Siege Tank is out. And if you're Alpha Star, that's all you should really need. All the while, I mean, uh, Cloak is done. There's an Observer out, but where is it? The Observer is on the wrong side of the map. So this Banshee could potentially get a lot of damage done for Alpha Star here. Suddenly, things looking on the up and up. How's its Banshee micro? So far, so good, it would seem. The Banshee, uh, how many probes is it going to be able to nab up? We have yet to see as an Observer is about to pop out. So uh, it's probably not going to get too many more. Come on, at least get one more. Uh, Blink's done, so that is a dead Banshee, but still, I mean, it's not going too bad for it. This one Siege Tank could go down to these two Stalkers, which would definitely hurt if your Alpha Star uh, actually even going to lose that Siege Tank there. So a little bit painful for the AI giving away a tank like that. All things considered, though, it's not the end of the world for the Terran, but... I don't know if we can say it's great or not. The worker count for now is okay, but the Protoss is getting up a third base with Chrono Boost. I feel like the Protoss' economy is just going to take off more. That being said, though, I mean, the Protoss player, he's got no intent to just macroing up versus this Terran. He's going for the kill move. The Stalkers blink into the main base. That... That structure, that barracks there, just gets cancelled. The siege tank has to reposition, or at least one of them does. All the while, adepts are going to shade into the natural base. Those siege tanks are about to deal some mad friendly fire. The stalkers are, go are going to be trying to be repelled by the marines, but there's simply not enough here. And oh my gosh, how many... How? Oh, wait a sec... Oh no, how many SCVs died to those tanks and adepts? It looks like it was a lot. Oh dear. that That's no good for... Uh, that is no good at all for Alpha Star. Alpha Star actually just killed so many of its own SCVs. That is, that is a bad time. And with uh, these two barracks actually going down, that really, really hurts for Alpha Star. That barracks gonna burn down, and suddenly we're looking at a Terran player that has no stim on the way. Is just making siege tanks. Fortunately, Alpha Star at least has this hidden base going up. It seems to like hidden bases is Terran, but the Protoss player is gonna be powering up pretty good here. Banshees get a few more probes as well, which is pretty nice. So, I mean, Alpha Star's harassment is looking pretty good. But, oh, no, it's trying to start the two barracks again, and they are just getting shut down. The tanks are not pushing out far enough in order to deal with these stalkers. It's trying to rebuild them again, but they're just getting cancelled. This guy is just capitalizing on the AI's derpiness. Two more barracks gets killed off. Actually, five barracks have been killed off. When's the last time you saw a StarCraft 2 game, which five barracks just got picked off like that? That really hurts. This player is just like, oh, I'll just keep killing barracks. All the while, Alpha Star is ages away from getting up stim pack or anything, and the Protoss player is about to have charge for his 11 Zealots. And uh, I don't know about you, but 11 Zealots really, really with charge are really good versus Marines without stim. Now, there is a chance that Alpha Star can just attack on in because it does have a good siege tank count, but still, without stim, without combat shield, you are kinda limited. Alpha Star gonna be transferring some SCVs sneakily to its hidden base, which, while well, still remains hidden, all the while, the Protoss player seems like he may want to end the game. This is a very aggressive Protoss player that we've got right now. We're currently looking at this Protoss. He's just he's just warping in more charge lots, it would seem. We're just getting up a good number of charge lots. Immortals. The Banshee's going to see them. Like, uh-oh. 
Uh, probably want to cloak and get away. Looks like it will be able to, all the while the Stalker's in the main still being a pain. The Protoss player cannot push up into this, there's no doubt about that in the world. But, we take a look here, and uh, with the fact that the Protoss can just pull back, but wait a second, the Protoss is going to push into all the tanks? No, he's a mad Protoss! What? The tanks were all seeds! Okay, this Protoss player is a little bit nuts. Auto turret's getting thrown down. Looks like the Protoss getting uh, repelled pretty darn well here. These Marines without Stim are engaging the Immortals. And the fact that they have plus one is actually going pretty darn far for them. They're going to kind of win. Stalker's in the main, though, being a pain, killing off SCVs. The Raven is going to get focused down, which hurts for Alpha Star. The tank, though, the Banshee will repel those two Stalkers. And uh, that, that was an odd engagement. I'm really enjoying this TVP game. It's just nuts. This Protoss player, too, is also nuts. He's not just backering up. He says, no, I, got, I gotta kill him. I gotta keep attacking into my opponent. And... Okay, wait, wait a second. Alpha Star, after Alpha Star adapts and overcomes, after losing five barracks, I didn't even notice it, I just assumed it started to build factories instead of barracks. It says, all right, enough is enough. I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build only factories because my barracks keep getting canceled. That is such AI logic there. That is fantastic. Now we take a look here. The two Banshees gonna move on in for Alpha Star. There's a shield battery. But they could potentially get some damage done. One probe goes down. Uh, not really going to get too much, but this is buying time for these siege tanks to come on in. And sieged they are. The units charging on in, though, getting good face time with the tanks. Okay, Alpha Star's attack did just fall flat on his face. All the while, there's one zealot counterattacking, being a pain. Is uh, Alpha Star going to deal with this? I don't know. It could potentially be losing this base. Banshee's counterattacking also getting shut down, so when the dust settles, this looks not great, I want to say, for Alpha Star. This command center is going to try and be saved. The Banshees, oh, it's going to be close. The command center will live. Live! Says Alpha Star as that lives, but I don't know if Alpha Star is going to live here. This is a lot of Protoss this time around. I mean, it had a good siege tank count before, but it definitely doesn't now. Four tanks taking on this much Protoss. I mean, I like to believe, but I don't know if it's going to be happening. Alpha Star is getting swarmed right now by the Protoss. Widowmine's going off. The Prism, though, still alive. Tanks in the bunker are doing okay, though. I mean, the bunker is holding. The tanks are getting some good shots off. But at the end of the day, another warping or two for the Protoss, and I feel it's okay, but look at that! Widowmine's running on in. They could potentially turn this around, they just need some good connections. They're actually killing a lot of their own comrades there, but, I mean, Alpha Star is still fighting this out, and another tank pops out. Its production is at least pretty much non-stop here. More Widowmines, more tanks, more Hellions on the way for Alpha Star. It's actually such a close hold right now. It's trying to give it all. It's morphing Hellbats being perfect blockers for the tank. The bunker is still standing. Alpha Star may be able to hold versus this Protoss player. The Stalkers, though, they blink on top. And with that, I don't know if Alpha Star is going to be able to stop. I mean, it's only five Stalkers, though. It's not that much. Meanwhile, Alpha Star has got up its fourth base. It's kind of hidden third base which it's rallying SCVs away from. It's kind of given away. It's got a hidden base. But, I mean, Alpha Star is, is giving it the good fight. Another tank pops out. Another tank pops out. So getting some serious firepower established. I don't know if the third base is going to be able to stay alive, though. These tanks may need to reposition. Alpha Star's production, though, I think it, I'm, I've been looking... I've been casting a lot of games of this AI now, and I'm really starting to realize it's the production that keeps Alpha Star in this game. It is always making units when it needs them, like, it's just never stopped. It does not hesitate like a human, and that seems to be a very, very good focus, and a very, very good example of, you got a macro, you got a macro right in order to succeed in StarCraft 2. So while Alpha Star is having a bit of a tough go at it right now, it's still got its hidden base, it's still producing units non-stop, and this Protoss player is still just all in right now. The Protoss finally says, fine, I'll build a fourth base. I haven't killed you yet. These SCVs rallying really should give away that there's a hidden base. But I don't know if the Protoss player has been paying attention. There we go. He's going to go look for it now. Alpha Star doesn't understand that you can't rally SCVs away from your hidden base. And once that's gone, that's really going to hurt the economy of Alpha Star. We see the AI. It's now going to be looking to push on out. Maybe bait the Protoss into a bad engagement. Uh, the Protoss has found this base here. Alpha Star gonna be taking a big hit to its economy the tanks are moving on out but oh yeah some of these tanks getting caught here alpha star 
Uh, just looks like... I mean, I really enjoyed this game from Alpha Star. The, way, the logic of it just be like, final mech. And this is actually the first game I've cast of Alpha Star going mech versus Protoss. Which is really, really cool. I hope we can see more of the AI doing this. It floated over its main, but it's going to lose that. It doesn't really put a lot of emphasis on saving its important structures. And uh, I think the Protoss player has just one out. What am I going to hit that immortal? Nope. Good dodge from the Protoss player. Uh, this base, though, being shut down does definitely hurt Alpha Star. It's now on literally one mining base. And while it can produce a lot of units, and is still going for Banshee harassment, Alpha Star has lost 11 Banshees this game. While it's still producing Banshees, you gotta give it to it. I mean, the supply is up for Alpha Star, but there's just so many Archons and everything here. Like, there's not that much of an army for the Proton player. Good dodges from the... or not that much army for the Terran. As I say that, though, I mean... The plus one on both the tanks and the marines is actually putting out a lot of DPS. Like, is the Alpha Star actually going to hold this off? I mean, its economy has just been thrashed, but it, somehow it's still just turned out enough units and it is going to hold on. Oh my gosh, Alpha Star is a macro god. It is just making units nonstop, taking fights, kicking ass and taking names. The nonstop Banshee harassment is actually working out for Alpha Star as well. I mean, the Protoss player is on a much better economy at this point, but it's definitely not been unharassed. The Banshee gonna be working away on uh, whatever it can get. Looks like it does get picked off there though. Alpha Star on two command centers after losing that hidden base, losing that CC there. If Alpha Star just focused on saving its command centers a little bit, I know I'm, I know I'm talking about this AI, like it needs to just tweak one thing and then it this problem would be solved. That's not really how it works, but it does seem, though, that if it just saved its command centers, it would it would be in a much better spot. I don't know, though. But still, a really great game here from Alpha Star. I'm talking about it like it's dead. It's going to have a tough hill to climb ahead of it, though, if it's going to stay alive in this game. I mean, this is a lot of Protoss coming on into tanks, all focusing on the one arc on the Stalker's Link forward. I mean, this is a, the Marines have been putting out damage consistently, but yeah, there is too, just too much Protoss this time around. And I think this time for real, Alpha Star is dead. What a game, though. I mean, this has been a really fun one to cast. Alpha Star versus TVP. I'm really going to have to watch more of this, I feel. As uh, it's been uh, definitely fun to watch it. I still want to watch some more of the reverse to TVP. That's definitely going to be something I'm going to look out for more Alpha Star videos. Alpha Star, not known for having good GG timings. It's floated all of its factories. It's lifting off the starports and then at GG's. What a true, uh, what a true ladder player. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. As I said, we break 50 likes. I will do another Alpha Star, just regular commentary along with the extra cheeses ones because unfortunately we are starting to run out of the replays. And uh, yeah, if you you and uh enjoy this kind of commentary and you're still here at the end make sure to press that subscribe button i'll see you next time this has been laughing games thanks for watching